One of the basic components of JavaScript is objects, and we're going to be using objects a lot. Now, there's a few categories of objects. So there's built-in objects that are part of the JavaScript language, and we'll learn and use a couple of those. Uh, there's browser objects, and these are objects that actually belong to the browser and document objects, and those are the objects that belong to a web page, and that's what's referred to by a document is the web page itself. And then there's customized objects that the programmer can create and use. Well, this image shows a part of the browser object model and the document object model. That's BOM, browser object model, and DOM, the DOM, document object model. And you'll hear the DOM referred to quite a bit. And uh, inside the DOM is, there's the base object, which is the document. And then there are forms and images. And within each of these objects, there's other elements. So the hierarchy keeps going down. Now notice that the DOM is part of the browser object model. And the browser object model starts with the window and has the document and a history and a screen and navigator and location. So we've already used the, the um, window object, right? We did that when we did the, let's go to our code and inside scripts in tinyscripts.js, we used the window object and we called a method on it. So window.alert. Notice this is following the standard object.method format that is common in many programming languages. And so here we've done that. We've just used the object, then we've called a method, and we've set whatever parameters are expected by that method. And we're going to be able to do this in lots of different ways. The other thing we're going to be able to do is change properties of an object. So all of these things that we're seeing in, in JavaScript are fundamental parts of object-oriented languages. And we're going to be able to use them here like we've used them in other languages. Now, if we go to the W3 schools, uh, we can learn about these the document um, object, the DOM, right? The do document object model. And here in this page, it shows a list of the properties and methods that go to the document object. And notice that this is a really long list. We're not gonna learn all of these. We're going to refer to some of them. So one thing to notice about this list is that it has both properties and methods. And the way that you can tell the difference is whether there are parentheses or not. Methods have parentheses and the ones that are properties don't. And so you can tell the difference whether you're working with a property or with a method. One of the things we want to do with the document object is to be able to get the elements in it. So if we take a web, a web page is full of elements, right? And full of objects, each element is an object. So if, and if we can get access to that element in our JavaScript, then we can manipulate it. So, so one of the things we're gonna be doing with the do, document object model is being able to get elements, either groups of elements, we call those collections, or individual elements that we can manipulate. 